So with my big chips coming up, one of the things that's super important for uh, me and my and my group of us is being able to talk with each other uh, via our rides. So since we're going away right away, or we probably have gone on this one for four days, and then we will be going away for uh, between three and four weeks for a ride. Uh, having that communication is really important. Now, for me, what is also really important uh, is being able to record that conversation if we're maybe in a spot, right? Maybe we're out doing uh, a tail of the dragon or we're out doing, we're just wandering around Sturgis or we're going up Bear, Bear Tooth Pass. Being able to record that, I think, is something that is really cool. Not just hearing my thoughts, but also being able to hear the thoughts of the riders that are also with me. This, we've we've shown this in one of our earlier videos. This is the uh, Senna Meshport Red. Now, the Meshport Red allows other Bluetooth devices that are compatible with it. So it's not just anything, right? But they have to be compatible with it to be able to record anything that kind of comes, any audio that comes through uh, the mesh network. So think of this as just another mesh device. So for instance, I use a Senna Impulse. A friend of mine is borrowing my Senna 50C. And then I have two other friends, three other friends, I think, that are running uh, showy helmets with the Senna 50S kind of built into it with the mesh. So the five of us are all using Senna's. Those five devices, of course, communicate via the mesh. So we can each hear each other. We can, you know, there's no, it's just, just perfect, right? We can hear each other. We can talk to each other. We can do all that kind of stuff, which is fantastic. This will become just another device inside that mesh network. What happens is it can also hear the whole conversation, right? The whole conversation comes into this as well. Now, of course, you can't talk through this, but why would you? You have you have your own Senna on your on your head, right? But this also receives all of that communication. So if we can get a camera connected to this via Bluetooth, and again, it's not all cameras. We're going to show it today on an Insta360. Uh, I have an Ace Pro and an X4, and, and both of those work. I don't know about the older ones. I also don't know about things like GoPros and things like that, but the Insta360 X4 and uh, Ace Pro do work. We can Bluetooth this to that so that when this is recording uh, or this is recording, it is capturing the audio that's coming through here, which is the whole, the whole communication, which is cool. So I actually think that we will use my X4 here. Hopefully you guys can see that. So I'm going to turn the X4 just on right now. So we'll just give it a click. It should power up. I should have I should have battery in this. I'm pretty sure I do. Maybe I'm a liar. That is always a possibility. Am I a liar? I am. I am 100% a liar. That is dead. So today what we're going to do is we're going to use the Ace Pro. Yes, and I'm going to just maybe flip that screen up like this. And let's see if this has power. Come on, power. There we go. So actually, I'm going to turn it this way so that it has a better chance of focusing. There, there it is right there. Hopefully that's, that's horrible lighting. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put my knife there. So it lays flat, flattish. You guys can see that. This is again, the Senna mesh port red. Now, if you have turned this on and connected it to uh, another Bluetooth device, whatever it may be, I don't know. Uh, you will probably have to put this like reset it or it re remove that device and then repair it. But I, you guys can check that out in the manual. Uh, but this is this is a brand new setup. So what we're going to do is just turn this on. And when it turns on, you should see that it automatically goes into, right? You see that there? It automatically goes into a like a Bluetooth pairing mode. Yes? So on the Insta360, all we're going to do is, and this can be, again, the X4 or the Ace Pro. We are going to slide over to where you'll see the little set of, uh, looks like Apple ear, earbuds. So we're going to tap on that. And you'll see that it says the Bluetooth is, it sees my impulse, right? It sees my impulse because I've usually, I've paired that already. So what is also nice is if it's, it, this camera sees, once it records or knows that there's two devices in here, um, at that point in time, it should give you the option. And this has said that it's connect. I wonder if my Senna is on upstairs. I'm very curious for that. I, I want to put this in Bluetooth mode. Hold on. Let's uh, get that to search again. I'm going to hold this down again. Hold. 
There we go. So see the blue, blue and blue and red flashing. Yes. Okay. So now we're going to do that again. And what usually happens is what I've heard is that it shows up as a device, but that the device itself is, uh, comes up as, yes, he says other device here, no name or anything. And it doesn't look like there's anything there. It's just gray. So you tap on the gray and you see it's searching. So just realize that's when I talked to Senna, they said, that's just how it works. So it's coming up. I don't know if it'll get a name once it connects. And now you can see here, Bluetooth headset connected, right? Now it actually has a name, mesh part red version 1.4.2. And we are getting a little green flash, which means that we are connected to the mesh. So as long as all the comms and this are on the same channel, just realize they have to be on the same channel. Now for us, we have switched because by, by default, the, the channel is channel one. So if you never played with anything and you didn't change your helmet or your comms to a different channel, then you shouldn't have to do anything else. If you have changed your comms to like channel two or channel three or whatever, then you want to make sure you go into the app because there is an app on here. Uh, I may be able to see it, right? Just so you guys can see the app itself. Uh, right, right there, it's Senna Meshport, right? You can click on this. And that what happens is this is here. Yes. I don't know if it will connect to it right now. It may, because I have had these connected. We can go in and set the, the actual comm, right? So what, not the comm, but set the actual channel. So for me, I'd have to switch this to channel two. Then they're, they're, they're all good. Same. You do the exact same thing on the X4. And, uh, what I also like about this, and I'm just going to turn this off. Like I said, is that when, when you are going on a ride, you know, if I'm going for a ride and it's just me, I don't necessarily need this, right? I don't need to turn on my helmet and the mesh part because I, I just, I, I'm not riding with anybody else. So when this turns on, for one, this would be off so I can turn this off. See the little light, there it goes, the little red and then off. Same idea, I could just come in here, switch over, uh, tap this and you'll actually see that the Bluetooth again is starting. Uh, it's gonna look for this because it's the last device that it looked for. But at this point in time, my impulse helmet would be on. So it would list as the two devices and I could just pick the one I want. So super cool, I really like that. All right guys, this is gonna be a great addition for my ride. Uh, I am, as time of filming, gonna be going on a ride where we're gonna test this uh, and that video should hopefully be coming out shortly after this one gets released. All right, stay tuned for that one. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. We got a lot of cool uh, motorcycles stuff coming up from gear to uh, some, some amazing trips. And uh, we will see you guys next video. There will be links down below to uh, the Senna gear as well as the Insta360 gear if you guys are at all interested in uh, using them, which I encourage. All right, guys, I'm out. Later.